Hi everyone. Happy Fashion Week. Yes. We're here with Elsa Haas. Hi guys. And she's showing us her new collection for Big Boss. So excited. So exciting. And I'm wearing this Big sweater. Box. And you're wearing Big Box. Woo! <laughs> um, and we're going to take some questions that Big Box fans have already sent in for Elsa. I'm so we're so going to first start with Nicole K. Mm -hmm. Nicole asks, Elsa, which language would you like to learn? Oh, um, I always wanted to learn French. Oui. French? We. Oui. <laughs> I, I can't speak a word French. I can like order a croissant. How, how do you order a croissant? Uh, un croissant, s'il vous plaît. <laughs> <laughs> Deux croissants. Like, Deux croissants. <laughs> um, so yeah, French, because it's a beautiful language and I spent a lot of time in Paris, so that would be a good match. I, I know how to speak German, but I don't use it much, unfortunately. So. Yes. Amazing. Angelica asks, Elsa, how do you find motivation to get out of bed and go to the gym and eat healthy all the time? <laughs> it's a good question. I, this is a really good question. Yeah. I want to know the answer to this too, <laughs> by the way. So if anyone you has know. a tip. <laughs> no, but honestly, I think you don't have to eat healthy all the time. Um, you can have days where you just, I just go with the flow. Like if I really want something and I tell myself I can't have that, then that's all I want. And I'm going to be like, eat five portions of it, so I have to just be like, I can eat anything I want, but just be balanced. Okay. And I think the way, the key to motivating yourself is to, um, to remember that feeling of how it feels afterwards. And like, really the hardest part is actually getting to the gym. Yeah. It's not actually doing the workout, I think, because when you're in it, it's sort of fun, if you find a workout that you like, that is, but just getting to the gym, just go. And then it, it's half of the job is done. Amazing. Yeah. What's that quote that's like, do I feel worse or better after a workout? And it's always better. So. Always. Always. I've never felt bad after a workout. Yeah. It, it gives you so much energy, so much endorphins. Yeah. Um, it's just a great way to live. So Amazing. Go work out. <laughs> Pia asks, what is your number one favorite thing about being a model? Oh, I think I think probably like meeting people and like finding like friends that do similar things that you do and being creative. I love I love being in front of the camera. Like I love moving image. I love being performing. Like I'm not necessarily that person in my personal life, but I like putting on a character and getting to be someone for the day. Like yeah. if I'm shooting an editorial and it's like it's night. It's like night gowns. It's like gowns, or I will become like a different character. Or if it's like a gothic story, I'll be like more dark and like it's fun. Yeah. No, yeah. I've seen you in front of the camera. You're such a collaborator. You're like, what if we did this? And how it's about this? really. I have a lot of opinions too. It's just probably no, like you shouldn't have for a model, but <laughs> <laughs> I, I think I've done this for so long that I'm like, I'm just like exploding with ideas. I love it. Um, DD asks, why did you choose to collaborate with Big Bob? Um, I feel like it was such a natural choice for me because Big Bok is a, it's a great Scandinavian brand and they have um, affordable fashion and, and really good quality for the prices they have. So um, it was fun for me and it was a challenge to make clothes that I would wear at that price point and that my, my you know, followers can afford and yeah. like everyone um, around, you know, so that was really fun. Amazing. And for your North American fans, what is Big Bok if they've never heard of? So Big Bok is a it's a chain of, of like fast fashion um, in Scandinavia, and they have a lot of stores. Um, and it's it's really cool. It's like for that cool girl that's looking to wear something trendy um, and be like up to date with what she's wearing, but she doesn't want to spend um, crazy amount of money. Yeah. You know? I I love the clothes, so it's perfect. Thank you. Um, what to see in Stockholm, Didi also asked, and what is your essential makeup? Oh, um, I'm pretty natural. Uh, today I'm wearing like zero makeup, which I pr probably should have thought about that I was doing an interview. <laughs> but um, I like to um, I like to do like an eyeliner, sort of what I'm uh, the makeup that I'm wearing in the photos for the Big Bot collection. It's like my go-to. Like a little cat eye. A little cat eye, like a little black eyeliner. Like dewy skin. Dewy skin, okay. like very natural. I think less is more, but focus on the one feature that you have that's um, your best feature or whatever yeah. you think is your best feature. Amazing. And 
what to see in Stockholm. I love all the water, like running yeah. through the city and and just walking around the street and looking at the architecture is really pretty. Um, like Gamla Stan. Gamla Stan is beautiful. Yeah. It's so cool. It's like very medieval. You walk down the little like cobblestone streets and you can really imagine like the people that lived there like you yeah. know way way long ago and. Um, also, like taking a boat and exploring the islands outside of Stockholm is a really hot tip. Good to know. Sarah asks, what's your best tip to someone who wants to become a model? It's difficult because most models that become successful, they didn't like choose to become models. You're scouted on the street, but if you are someone that's being told a lot, like, oh, you should model, or um, I think go find a really good agency, like a legit agency that um, you know, is famous, like look it up online and find someone to take care of you and, and take it from there. And and be confident. I think the rules are changing a bit now too, which is yeah. exciting. Like there's different girls, like it's more unique. It's not just about being like drop dead, like beautiful. It's more this about tall or this Exactly. Yeah. It's more about your style and like your personality and it's a lot about being unique. And Amazing. that's and just I mean, being yourself. And just being yourself, totally. I think it's it's all about that. And don't compare yourself to anyone. That's always been my number one um, advice. Amazing. Madeline asks, you seem to travel a lot. Mm -hmm. What's your best tip for packing a smart hand luggage? Oh, I'm so good at this. <laughs> I love this question. Um, just pack the really essentials. Like if you're going somewhere, do not overpack. I always just take a little bag that I can that I don't have to check in because then you have to wait for the luggage, it takes forever. I just roll everything, like take your item and just like squeeze it together and roll it and then like stack everything. That way you can fit a lot. And just plan your outfits, like really like lay everything out, plan it, maybe even try it on, see that everything works with the same like two shoes that you're gonna pick. Do you always do like a sneakers, a sandal, I, a heel? I try to, I try okay. to do like one heel, a sneaker and like a boot or if I'm going somewhere for like one day I'll just take one pair of shoes that works with every outfit yeah um, but just like plan it take some time and like think about it amazing Emma asks Elsa what's your favorite movie and what's your favorite kind of music oh my favorite movie is Ratatouille oh Ratatouille <laughs> with your beret <laughs> I'm like Ratatouille like, can Ratatouille. you tell and I need to learn French <laughs> I just I think it's it. so cute. I, I, love I, I don't yeah. like like animated movies yeah. normally, but this one is so cute. I can watch it over and over and over and over. It's so cute. Oh. Um, and what kind of music do you listen to? What kind of music? I like music from the 70s and the 60s. Okay. Groovy. Even like the 50s, like rockabilly music. <laughs> I'm, I'm not like very modern when it comes to music. I think I grew up with my dad playing like really old music from his like LPs and um, he used to be a DJ like back in the 70s, so he had all this like incredible music and I sort of got stuck on that sound, like the old like rock and roll with like instruments oh, and like, yeah. It's Shout out to Papa. <laughs> Shout out to Dad. He <laughs> probably <laughs> is really cool right now if he's watching this. <laughs> so Alex asks, I follow you on Instagram and I really love everything you post. What's oh, your that's best nice. tips for becoming successful on social media? Um. My best tip is like you really have to love it. You, there's no way around it. Like you have to love it because if you love it, you're gonna get good at it. Yeah. Uh, and so like ask, don't force it. If don't for, don't force it. If it's not there naturally, like don't try to. You know, you can find inspiration at other people's accounts, um, but try to try to do your style because I think if you're different, people are gonna find you and like they're gonna be like, oh, this is something new and that, this is interesting. People always ask me, like, who takes your photos? But I always ask friends. Like, I'll ask my boyfriend or my friend or... I know, I've even asked you that. I'm like, yeah. who's, who's taking yeah. your pictures? Yeah, like, I'm sure I've asked you. Like, can you take a photo? Like, yeah. you know, you have to just use whatever you have at the moment and, like, like teach people, you know, have it. fun with it and, like, and make it a thing, you know? Cool. Love it. So Caroline says, do you listen to any podcasts? And if so, which one is your favorite? I love podcasts. I'm really bad at it because I forget that they exist, but there's, <laughs> you know when you're yeah. like, when you're really bored and you're like, oh, podcasts. Yeah, you're like, music, yeah. <laughs> podcasts. You know, my boyfriend's really good at podcasts and he recently introduced me to uh, one, I forget what it's called, but it's about people, how they start businesses 
oh, and how, how they became successful. All these entrepreneurs and they just describe their journey and it's so interesting and like especially if you're if you want to have your own company one day, it's really cool. There is one we were talking about the other day at, on that You fashion. should know this, it's, I think it's called. You should know this. Yeah. And then we were talking about Ted Radio Hour. Oh, like Ted, all the yeah. TED Talks. Ted Talks, that one's really good too. Yeah. Yeah, I love that one. I it's famous this. people talking about things that they are passionate about or like, yeah. and you learn a lot. So I, I know, sorry if I mispronounced mm -hmm. that, says, do you ever feel stressed? Um, what do you do when you want to relax? I mean, it being Fashion Week, I'm oh, sure. Oh, yeah, I do feel stressed a lot. And I think sometimes you just have to take a moment and just breathe, you know? Meditate or breathe. Should we do a deep breath right now? Yeah. Okay, ready? So stressed right now. <laughs> so much See? better. That feels so much better. It really works. Like, it's no, weird. No, it really does. Like, yeah. it, it just gives you that pause of like the, you know, all this shit that's going on, sorry. Um, and and everything it, slows down. Yeah, everything slows down. Um, Hannah says, who is your styling inspiration? How do you dress for fall season? And what's your go-to look? I feel like you, this whole collection is your go-to. I, I think so too. This collection is so inspired by my closet. Yeah. And it's sort of things that I already had in my closet that are vintage or things that I always wanted and like imagined and tried to create from like, I don't know, my imagination. Um, but my style inspiration is, I just take it, like it's a mix. It's a mix between um, like style icons in the past and like, like someone I see on the street and like street style photos in Vogue, like different, different things. I just grab a little bit from here and there and I kind of make my own style, I think. I love it, that's amazing. How do you, how do you dress for the fall? I like the fall because you can really, dress you can really wear more clothes yeah. which is more it's fun <laughs> you can style it more you can put a hat on you can wear a scarf like i like layering with like you know like trench coats and jackets jackets is my favorite thing to buy like i love buying jackets uh, yeah i love that pink corduroy jacket thank you one. i know it's cute i like to wear it together sometimes i think it's really cool now to wear a whole like uniform matching, yeah. and like matching like pink from top to toe or like totally monochrome yeah, like, yeah it's yeah. really cool i love that so Johanna says, how did it feel when someone first recognized you on the streets? It was probably way back in Sweden. Like I, I was in a video of this Swedish pop artist <laughs> <laughs> and like everyone like had watched it because he was like a big deal, you know, and like so that was but every time someone recognizes me, it's the same feeling of like surprise. Like sometimes I feel like I'm more nervous than they are. It's <laughs> weird. Like they're You're so like, Who, they're so Wait. nervous, and sometimes people are crying, and I'm like, Aww. you guys don't understand. Like this is not normal for me either. You know? <laughs> so it's it's like and sometimes I feel like really confident. Like it's just you know whatever the mood is, it's different. Kate asks, how do you handle negative comments? Yeah, I think uh, it's really sad that internet has become a place of, of so much negativity and like you kind of hide behind a, a screen, a screen yeah. and it's a really serious problem and um, unfortunately you just have to ignore it. Um, I wish I could do something about it. There's a lot of great campaigns going around like anti-bullying and mm -hmm. like yeah. I know Facebook has that little like stamp on right. sometimes. Right, and then on Instagram there's kind comments so yeah. instead of yeah, kind of I think it's it's this. I hope that's where the world is going. Of just you know, especially like women empowering each other and and really like supporting each other. Yeah. Like if someone's successful, you can instead of putting them down. Like it it always comes from insecurity, and that's what's that's what's sad. Like you know, when you see a negative comment, that it comes from someone who's hurting. So you know, that's there's another problem behind it. Right, you, know. so you don't focus on it. Yeah. I, Realize, I noticed that with you and your friends, you are always posting like, emo like hearts and like, <laughs> you look amazing, like <laughs> such supportive comments on all of your friends' oh, that's accounts. Oh, good. Yeah, but so I think we genuinely so like. Yeah. There's a new generation of of women like really like having each other's backs, and 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 we all become more successful through that. And one person's success doesn't doesn't mean that someone else is not going to have success. Yeah. It's it's we're all like just push helping each other. Exactly. And I love that. It's such it's much better place to be at. Preach. So yes. Lisa says, "What is your spirit animal?" Ooh. I'm definitely a cat. <laughs> I mean, have you seen my eyes? <laughs> no, I have That's two cats. Funny. I just feel like they're like 
so chill and like comfortable and like you know they're yeah. just they're very much strong willed and they have personality they have personality yeah, they have absolutely. like strong personalities and I know always like exactly what I want when I want it and like when I'm not having it and that's the way my cats are so I love that that's a cat um, we kind of covered this earlier, but Bianca asks, who is your style icon? Is there one person or? Um, I don't know if there's one person, um, but people that have, people that do their own thing, it doesn't necessarily mean that I would want to wear what they're wearing. Okay. But when someone is going for it and you can tell they haven't like tried to look like someone else, you know, when they're just like themselves. Like I find that super inspiring and that makes me want to dress like how I want to dress. Yeah. Amazing. Meredith asks, what is one thing you can't live without? Probably love. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. <laughs> and food. I was, yeah, love and food. Love and food. That's all you need. Yeah. That's a hierarchy of needs, <laughs> base level. Nur Sabrina asks, what do you miss most when you're away from home? Oh, there's so many things I miss. Like Sweden is a great country. I miss the food, I miss the, I miss my parents, I miss my friends, like all my best friends are there. Um, so I miss a lot in Sweden. Oh. <laughs> I'm like, oh, take me back. Okay, <laughs> moving on. Elma goes, can you say something in Swedish? Hey, or hey, who do? You? Wait, who, who are we talking to? Elma. Elma, shy, like it. Jag är så glad att du har skickat in den här frågan och eh, jag ska svara på den nu. <laughs> Wait, what did you say? <laughs> I just said it's nice to meet you and I'm going to answer this question. Oh, and she also asked, tell us a little bit about how it feels to be a model. It's a strange job, honestly. Like, it's a, it's a fantasy. We live in fantasy land. It's crazy. It's like, it's not a normal job. Um, you, you never really plan your time. You're always on the go and um, it's, it's just weird it's a weird job and it's based on how you look so you have to really take care of yourself a lot um, you're kind of a, a character you're there's a different story every day and there's a new team every day and um, you're you're promoting someone else's product so you have to be a little bit of a chameleon um, but it's it, it can be uh, can be glamorous and it can be very unglamorous and yeah. um, you spend a lot of time alone on planes and then travel and um, but no it, day's the same. No day's the same. Different every day. <laughs> that's that's my job in a nutshell. So when the collection is out September 28th yeah. in Scandinavia. The collection drops in Scandinavia and some countries in Europe on September 28th. And I can't wait to see you guys wear it. And I hope you will love it as much as I do. And I know you're all going to find something Amazing. that you like. How do you say bye in Swedish? Hey, Doa. Hey Dor. Okay, so I'm Sophia. This is Elsa. And hey Dor. Hey Dor. <laughs> hey Dor. Hey I just said hey Dor. Hey Dor. Like, hey Dor. J'adore. 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 Hey Dor. You're the best.